now we can talk without Sub-Zero wind in our ears. Thank you. Not just for saving my guys. You got me out of Hoth. You have no idea how much I was starting to hate that planet. I found Hoth rather picturesque, actually. Taking graves out there takes the bloom off, I'm afraid. You know, I miss the rest of the unit already. Even Kree. But they're going home, and that's the important thing. They've earned it. Your friend Kaizen's something else. He was asking how many kills I've made? It's a Trend Ocean thing. It doesn't really matter what you say. He's odd company for a Jedi Master. I've been posted all over, but I haven't met many Trend Oceans. Or Jedi. I always think of Jedi Masters as being stationed on Tython, and being... Well, you are more hands-on than I expected. The Force can't dig a garden or build a city's defenses. Sometimes you must get your hands dirty. I hear that. At least your missions aren't as hair-raising as mine were. It's been years since I slept through the night without some crisis coming up. Trandoshans, Jedi, it's all good. I'm glad to be here. You know, I did some numbers. This could wind up being the longest assignment I've had in three years. Scary how time flies when your mind's on other things. Your mood does seem much brighter. I have my reasons. Meantime, I was hoping to get better acquainted with... the ship. It's got a lot of potential. A little mystery, too. I'm curious. Old Padawan's no curiosity can lead to disaster. Then I'll trust your judgment, and admire the ship for what it is. Good news. One of my guys from Hoth got a promotion. Private Lavik made it to Specialist. Please send him my congratulations. Thanks. I'll let him know. He's gone to Ord Mantell for training. I was there right after my transfer from... Felucia? No, Dantween. Ord Mantell. That posting was lousy. What were you doing there? We discovered a Separatist training camp. Me and another lieutenant were trying to break it up. But Lieutenant Jorgen had seniority, and he let me know it. Snap inspections, status reports. Every day he was up in arms about something. Did you get used to it eventually? I said yes, sir, when he ranted. Then did what was best for the unit. Maybe I'm being too hard on Jorgen. He was a good soldier. He's probably a general by now. We did the job and didn't lose a single man. Jorgen got a commendation. I got transferred to Sirocco, then to Duro, then Hoth. Sounds like you're constantly being reassigned. Is that normal? Army life isn't easy. I hope Private, sorry, Specialist Lavik, appreciates what he's got. I was hoping you'd have time for a quick st strategy session. I was running a few scenarios. Repelling a boarding party, what if someone gets captured, stuff like that. I have to ask, what do you want us to do if you're taken by the Empire? I'm sure I could rely on my friends to bring me home. <laughs> no problem. I'd break an arm if I tried to stop Kaizen going after you. Not a pleasant topic, I know, but it never hurts to plan in advance. Uh, can we talk for a minute? There is something I think you should know about me. You don't need to tell me anything you don't want to. I know, but I'd like to be straight with you. A few years ago, I was captured by the Empire. I was scouting an Altier with my friend Milo, and we ran into an Imperial strike team. I woke up in an Imperial cell with a headache. Was Milo with you? There was no sign of him. When I managed to escape and reach a Republic ship, I realized I'd lost time. Seven days. Whatever happened to me is still a blank. There are Jedi techniques to recall lost or repressed memories. They tried, but all I got was stuff I've tried to forget. Medically, I'm fine, but my commanders don't like it, so I get shuffled around wherever they need an extra blaster. That's why I keep being reassigned. I just thought you should know. So your career has stalled and you have to live with those lost days. I got captured by the Empire and survived. Thousands don't. You know what bothers me most? Milo Pelham, the guy who was with me on Altier got captured too. 
but no one ever saw him again. I guess I was the lucky one. I've been thinking. The Republic's holding up, but we're still taking a real beating against the Empire. I'm in this to win, no question of that. But do you ever wonder what would happen if we lost? We've suffered defeats and setbacks before, and always survived to rebuild. Makes you wonder, just what do we have that the Empire doesn't? Command will have some kind of contingency plan. If the time comes to use it, I hope we're leading the charge. Remember I told you about Milo Pelham, who vanished when we were captured by the Empire? After we talked, I put his name out, in case he had a wife or kids he hadn't mentioned. Instead, I found out he was arrested on Tatooine a few weeks ago. He actually made it. That is truly excellent news. I can't believe he's alive. But Milo's being held for destruction of private property. Anchorhead authorities said he's been acting nutty since he was arrested. They had to isolate him. Milo was a rock. Something's wrong. If we spoke to him, there might be something I could do. Took the question right out of my mouth. I can get him out, but there's a hitch. The property Milo destroyed was a starship. Owner's a gangster, and he's a little upset, so the authorities aren't too happy about setting Milo free. He'll have all the protection he needs once we arrive. I wrote up a signed character reference for Milo. Could you sign it too? A Jedi Master's endorsement would really speed things along. The situation's precarious enough. We should go by the book. That makes sense. Milo's release should be ironclad. I'll have a quiet word with the authorities. All these years I thought he was dead. What happened to him out there? I got word from Tatooine. Six holocalls, a few payments to the right people, and Milo's a free man. All I need to do is meet him in his security escort at Anchorhead, but Milo's still in a bad way. We shouldn't keep him waiting. I appreciate it, but I should probably take this one. If Milo's really unstable, too many people might scare him. I'll take a shuttle to Tatooine and see Milo get somewhere safe. Shouldn't risk him hurting himself or blowing up someone else's starship. Thinking he was dead, it was almost easier than this. Milo could know what happened to you when you were captured. It's worth a shot. Don't worry, I'll make sure I'm ready for trouble before I move out. See you soon. I got Milo off Tatooine okay, but heck, I don't even know where to start. Milo was trying to talk to me, but he couldn't get the words out. He kept using other languages, equations even, like his mind was shattered. No one deserves to suffer like that. I tried asking him about when we were captured, if he knew anything. If I understood him right, Milo said a doctor came into his cell. She showed him a glowing box. That's when it all went wrong inside his head. Thing is, Milo said this doctor used that box on me, too. I don't like where this is going. And you didn't see Milo. How do you think I feel? So Milo's lady doctor used a glowing box on both of us. I lose seven days of memory, and Milo loses his mind. A glowing box. Maybe a new Imperial torture device. There are ancient relics that fit that description, too. You're the expert, but me and Milo were nobodies. Why use an artifact on us? I think Milo tracked the doctor to Tatooine. He thought the starship he blew up was hers. He gave me a picture, assuming it's actually her, that might give us a lead. I'll see what I can find out. Any chance I can use the ship's long-distance communication system for about an hour? The ship is your home, too. Feel free. Great. Thanks. I want to put Milo's lady doctor into the Republic's database. I keep studying her picture, but... nothing. I'm hoping it can jog something about her or that glowing box. I'm close, practically seeing her in my sleep. Take care that you don't become obsessed with this woman. I'm not obsessed. This is important. What if I just need one more day before I remember? Given how little we know of what happened, this approach might bear fruit, eventually. I owe it to Milo to find her. I'll let you know if anything comes back to me. Still no luck with the doctor's picture. I think it's time to admit defeat. You said yourself this may be your best lead. I won't give up looking for her, but 
I don't want to turn into Milo either. Her picture's in the Republic database, so I'm going to delete my copy. I've done all I can. I have a good situation here. I won't let the past mess it up. Hey, I've been meaning to ask, have you been in any major battles? Apart from Hoth, I mean. When the Republic has needed my help, I've always been ready. My postings haven't exactly been stellar, but I was there for the eight-hour invasion. Did my part, watched the Imperials slink away. I'm proud of that, though what we're doing seems more important, even if the historians never know. It's quite the fighting style you have. Looks like you sneaked a few combat manuals in amongst the history texts. There is poetry and logic in battle. I'm used to fighting in squads. Constant redeployments taught me to sink fast with whoever's at my shoulder. Now you, you know your tactics, but you're not afraid of your gut instinct either. I've tightened down my style to match. Might make the Imperials think twice the next time we're cornered. You're not gonna believe this. Remember Milo's talk about a glowing box and the lady doctor he was chasing? That lady doctor turns out to be real. She sent me a message. Lieutenant Arasso, my name is Dr. Sarah Frey. I hear you've been looking for me. I've fled the Empire. Your search has put me in grave danger. But I imagine you won't be satisfied until you have answers. I am responsible for Milo Pelham's instability and your suffering i could not refuse a darth's orders no dissembling i see the sith lord i once served darth alzel is a great scholar he even advises the dark council his speciality is ancient holocrons what's a holocron holocrons contain ancient knowledge to the untrained eye they match milo's description the Dark Council trusted Darth Alzel to decipher a rare holocron for them, but Alzel saw a chance to keep its knowledge for himself. He wanted to copy the holocron into a person's mind. The matrix of a holocron is far too complex to be mapped onto a person's brain. Darth Alzel requisitioned two prisoners from the Empire. You, Lieutenant Aresso, and your friend. The initial procedure was... imperfect. Milo Pelham's mind simply collapsed under so much knowledge. But you were a great success. A great success? She had a Sith library in my head. Dr. Frey must have sealed the Holocron's data from your conscious mind somehow. Any Sith would kill for that Holocron's knowledge. But no one will know it's there unless you tell them. All I have said is the truth. Now, please remove my image from the Republic database. I won't be safe until then. Lieutenant Felix. That's your name, isn't it? I'm... Um, I'm sorry. She's asking me to keep her safe? At least she's got a blasted sense of humor. She obviously regrets her actions. Show the compassion she couldn't, and help her. Dr. Frey's lucky I've got a Jedi to be my conscience. Okay, I'll see it gone. I need to think. Excuse me. This must be torture for you, huh? A library of ancient knowledge in my head and no way to reach it without me going crazy. This isn't funny. A ground-pounding soldier getting the wisdom of the ages? Come on, that's a little funny. I won't pretend I like this. It's a massive risk for both of us. But I've carried this data for years and never knew a thing. Besides, if anything does go wrong, I have your expertise on hand. I'm always here if you need me. I doubt Republic Command will have a change of heart if I report this. My career is still going nowhere. But, so what? You have a cause worth fighting for. I want to see it through. I need to talk to you. I got a letter from Milo Pelham. Kinda rambling, but still, sounds like he's getting better. Thing is, this letter has intel about the facility where we were held. He wants me to give the intel to SIS, but it's... You couldn't call it coherent. Start a dialogue with Milo. Ask him questions about the facility. See if he's consistent, then decide. Seems smart. Hey, it might even help him focus. I'll get to work on a reply.
It's encouraging that he's able to write at all. Maybe there's hope for me, too. So, I was doing some thinking. And my thinking is, this is the best posting I've ever had. We'd never have come so far without your help. I want you to know I'm with you to the end. Win or lose. I'd rather be your lieutenant than a Republic colonel. Doesn't matter what comes next for us. I've got your back. You ever think about the future? Like where you'd want to end up when all this is over? What about you? Are you planning to retire somewhere? My guys on Hoth always talked about going home, but for me, home was some refugee camp they closed years back. Besides, who could settle in just one world? There's always more to see. Maybe that's my retirement. Swap the blaster for a ship, start seeing the galaxy. Assuming this Sith data in my head doesn't start leaking. I'd be concerned about this too, but you can't let it take over your life. We'll figure it out. We always do. It's good to know there's someone I can always count on. <laughs>